Documents say a two-story panelized frame dwelling was shipped from England to the U.S. in 1764, but perhaps the first real predecessors of modular homes were sold from catalogs in the early 1900s. These kit homes eventually led to houses built in a factory setting. Not only do factory-built homes cost less, they tend to be much more energy efficient and versatile. They're quick to build and offer a variety of space options, with all the comforts and conveniences of conventional houses. They provide ease of living and ease of construction as well. In the factory, a worker welds the steel pieces that make up the undercarriage chassis. Its length depends on the demands of the customer. Workers move the completed chassis to the next part of the factory. They pull a layer of polyethylene over the length of the chassis and roll a blanket of fiberglass insulation on top. Framing for the home's subfloor is in place, along with water lines and heating ducts. An assembler nails the framing joists to a perimeter rail. They apply glue to the floor joists and cover the floor framing with composite wood floor decking. The assemblers nail the decking into place. A worker glues vinyl tiles onto the decking. Flooring comes in a variety of materials, including marble, ceramic tile, carpet, laminate and wood. In another part of the factory, framers are working on the home's interior walls. Building them on tables tends to make them straighter and stronger than walls that are built standing upright. Workers fill these exterior walls with insulation. The efficiency of the insulation depends on the climate in which the home will be installed. Workers apply adhesive to the studs. They position interior paneling and staple it into place. This is the factory's cabinet shop. These specialized cabinet makers use a wide variety of materials and styles to create bathroom and kitchen cabinets, such as this double sink galley cabinet. Workers begin putting cabinets on the floor of the home. In factory built homes, cabinets are installed before exterior and partition walls have been put in place, making the job a lot easier and more precise. Once the cabinets and interior walls are done, workers install exterior walls. They add this wall with the help of a crane. The wall fits precisely into place. Both the wall and interior frame are pre-caulked and when they meet, they form an airtight seal. Workers move this section to the next station in the factory. Using a crane, they lower the ceiling system into place. The ceiling system is all one piece. Workers lower it carefully, making sure the ceiling lines up precisely with the walls below. All the walls are pre-caulked and once they set the ceiling down, it's completely sealed, adding to the home's energy efficiency. Workers blow cellulose insulation into the attic cavity to form a thermal barrier. Before adding the exterior roof covering, specialized roofers put wood decking over the trusses and staple it into place. PVC piping is used to drain the home's wastewater and sewer lines. Assemblers now install lap siding over a moisture barrier. Sidings can be composite, vinyl, cement or wood with different finishes. This cement board is impervious to bugs and won't rot. A drywall finisher is inside, taping and texturing the gypsum wall board and applying plaster to walls and ceilings. This particular home is ready for off-grid use. Solar panels on the roof charge batteries by day. The batteries store power for use at night. This single module cottage, like most factory built homes, can be transported and delivered anywhere in the world. Comfortable, affordable and energy efficient, factory built houses have redefined the dream home. <laughs>